Welcome. In this video, we'll show the new features and workflow improvements in FL Studio 21.1. First up, FL Studio's piano roll is considered the best in the industry. How could we make it better? We've added two creativity first features to the piano roll. Snap to scale. Turn on the new snap to scale option when selecting scale highlighting in the piano roll menu to make notes in the piano roll snap to the selected value when moving them. This is not a filter for live note inputs, but when you're editing or painting new notes, they will immediately snap to the selected scale. You can also access this from the note icon on the toolbar. You can also use piano roll markers to denote key signatures now. This will change scale highlighting and snapping based on marker positions. Piano Roll Scripting Use the new Piano Roll scripts to apply custom manipulation functions to your notes. Good news if you know Python. You can write your own scripts and save them in this folder so they'll be available from the menu. Otherwise, there are also several pre-made scripts like the long-awaited humanize function. See the Piano Roll scripting subforum in our user forums to share and discuss scripts. To help identify the audio from the waveform preview, you can now select an option to color code frequency content in audio waveforms under the general settings. Colors represent frequency content. Red is for low frequencies, yellow and green are mids, and blue to magenta is for high frequencies. This applies to the browser, playlist, sampler channel, etc. Our bones and flesh, but God don't break. Build walls up so I can escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our bones and flesh, but God don't break. Hyper Chorus is a super wide chorus effects plugin included with producer edition and up. Perfect for making the sounds you know and love from early to mid 2000s dance music and more. Edison got an important update with a new and improved AI-based declipping tool. It can restore the peaks of recordings that have been clipped and attenuate the resulting distortion. Yeah! We want to make it abundantly clear this is not an excuse to redline everything you're recording. The declipper is for repairing already damaged recordings, not a get-out-of-trouble-free card. Yeah! Both SliceX and Slicer are now resizable, so the wave display can be as big as you need it to be. In the MIDI settings, we've added an external sync mode. This allows FL Studio to synchronize to an external MIDI clock, including built-in ones from a synthesizer or sequencer, so that it plays in time to an external hardware device. On 
On that note, MIDI jitter has also been reduced to the point of imperception when working with external synthesizers. MIDI jitter is something many DAWs struggle with. FL Studio was no exception. This shows a small timing errors between external MIDI device audio and FL Studio, most noticeable on percussion. We have fixed this good. There is not really a way to show this, as when it's working, you're supposed to not notice something's wrong. And lastly, automated updates. You can now automatically download FL Studio updates and apply them at the next restart, when a new version is detected. That's all the new stuff, not counting the 300 odd bug fixes and minor changes since FL Studio 21.0.3. We hope this video inspired you to try out the new features for yourself, and don't hesitate to grab the included demo projects we made for this video from the video information below. And with that, we hope you'll love FL Studio 21.1 as much as we love your lifetime free updates. Yeah.